Hey, how's it going, Realists? Welcome to another episode of On The Real Fishing. Thank you guys for stopping in and checking it out. Today, we are just out fishing. Before work, we're gonna go over here, hit this little cove behind me here. I'm using a bunch of different stuff. We'll be trying some top water, we'll be trying some crankbaits, trying some crick hoppers, all kind of fun stuff, but still no live bait. We're gonna keep at it. I really wanna try live baits, but I wanna learn how to not use them. But, so we're gonna get out here, we're gonna try to fish. Hopefully we'll catch something. If we don't, eh, we're still gonna make a video anyways. Thank y'all for checking it out. Hopefully you guys have a great day and let's go get out here and get on the reel. Let's go fish. All right, we got today's first cast with a crick hopper. Oh, I finally did it right. Today's first cast, crick hopper. Here we go. Caught some really nice ones in here the other day. Let's see if they're still here. Definitely something in here. Might need to go a little bit over that way instead. I'm gonna get up here in the shade. Try with that away a little bit. <laughs> of course, something hits right as I move away. As well as I was wanting to go, but maybe they'll still see it. Good shot, but I don't get hung up on that tree. I think I got past that. Oh, sweet, you get this world. Got him, did I? No, he got off. Oof, uh oh. <laughs> All right, we got our plopper. Got some top water out here. Not sure how it'll work. We're gonna see. Yeah, that's fine. Up plenty of clearance here. I was like, golly, how did I throw that?
I think that was two attempts at it right here. Here we go. Stay on, buddy. Stay on. Stay on. Alrighty. Top water bite. Don't know how to get you because you're bigger than I expected. Seven ounces. Good, good, good. All right, buddy. Sorry about all the trauma. Go on. All right. So I've got my got my tools on me now. So in case that happens again, I'll be able to get them in the water a lot faster. Cool. <clears throat> Going over a pound there. Very nice. Oh, that's a nice one. I like that positioning. Oh. Oh gosh, what is this? <laughs> oh, hungry boy. Hungry boy. Bluegill, big old mama. Ooh. Oh my goodness. How in the world? Ow. How did you get that up under there? Okay. I'm seeing how we can get this out. All right. Ooh wee. It's a big old one. Get a, get a hand show here. Oh, never mind. See you, buddy. Go in the water. Go. Run away. Okay. So I'm beginning to learn that swimming the crick hopper sometimes is better than twitching it. All right, that is gonna end it up for today. We got two catches. We got one top water, we got our first top water hit. Got a little bit over a pound, 
bass. I think it was pound seven ounces. I'll have to double check in a minute, but it was a pound and something. And then we got a big old fat brim on the crick hopper. Crick hopper is becoming my go-to bait. I love the crick hopper. Um, it just seems to be consistent for me because of the way I fish and how I fish. But thank you guys for dropping in. Make sure you like, subscribe, no, hit that notification bell and share this out if you get a chance. And we we'll guys are gonna see you next time whenever you get a chance. Hopefully you can get on the reel real soon.